Hey, what's happening guys? We're gonna start another new series today. And this time it will be on filters. And today's filter will be the low pass filter. So what's a low pass filter? It's very simple. It's a filter that passes signals with a frequency lower than the set point of the filter. And how do we find that? Well, our formula for the cutoff frequency is 1 over 2 pi tau. Or 1 over 2 pi rc. So what's that tell you? That tells you that this is a resistor capacitor filter. And we will be using the RC time constant to determine our filter. So the next question is, how do we set it up? Well, it's pretty simple. We start with a resistor. And then we have our V out. And then we have our capacitor going to ground. And here we have V in. So we bring in our signal here. It passes through the filter here and comes out like that. Pretty simple, right? This particular RC filter is called a first order low pass filter. How does it work? Well, it works like this. <clears throat> At low frequencies, so the frequencies that'll pass, there are there is plenty of time for our capacitor to charge up almost to the input voltage. So the frequency we get in is very close to the frequency we get out with a slight phase shift. Now at higher frequencies, because we're oscillating faster, there's not enough time for this capacitor to charge up to the input frequency or the input voltage. And what we get out is severely attenuated. Let's take a look at building one of these practically on a breadboard. All right, let's take a look at the setup. So we have our function generator over here putting out 100 kilohertz sine wave, 10 volts, peak to peak. And then we have our low pass filter set up here. Let me zoom in a bit. So our signal comes in on this white wire, feeds through our resistance. This is just a decade resistance box. And at the moment, it is set on 1K. The signal then goes into this capacitor, which is a one nano. And at the divider point, we're taking our output signal. So let's go now and take a look on the scope. Oh, I got things blinking off here everywhere. All right, let me get a good picture here for you guys. All right. So here we have our input signal, channel one. This is coming directly off the function generator. And you can see we are at two volts per division. Uh, let's see, we're 9.84 volts peak to peak, 50% duty cycle, blah, blah, blah. And now <laughs> let's bring in channel two. Now, if we take a look here, you see channel two also at two volts per division. It's just slightly attenuated there and slightly shifted out of phase. But watch what happens as we increase 
the frequency to our attenuation point, which in this case is about 160 kilohertz. We're at 100 now. Let's go up to 200. Boom. Now that signal is seriously attenuated by the low pass filter. And if we go higher, 300, 400, 500. You see, as the frequency increases, less and less is passed of the signal. All right, let me zoom back out. We're going to go back down to 100. And let's see if I can get this in the frame. Now, this is turned down here a little bit. And focus. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take off our 1K and we're going to go to 10K. So now we have a 10K and a 1 nano, which, remember our, our formulas, is going to make a serious difference. So look at that. There we are at 100 kilohertz. 10K at 1 nano almost completely attenuates that signal at 1 kilohertz. So let's go down. at 50 kilohertz you can see we're only slightly oh, I'm sorry that's 10 kilohertz we're only slightly attenuated 20 30 40 all right let's go back we're at 10 kilohertz now and this time instead of changing the resistor we will change the capacitor. And as soon as I find out what to do with my capacitors, here we go. We'll swap out our capacitor. It's in the right spot, no. Got to get them right or they don't work. Shocking, I know. Okay. So now instead of a 1 nano, I think this is like a 22 nano, it has almost completely attenuated the signal. So if we go down, oops, there we are, 1 kilohertz, the signal is still attenuated. Let's take it down even more. 500 hertz. I'm sorry, 100 hertz. There's 200. So you can see the effect changing the capacitance and the resistance has. So let's go back up here. and we'll take out our 1K, or 10K rather, and if we put our 1K back in, boom, look at that, almost no attenuation at all at 200 hertz, 300 hertz, 400, 500, 600. Okay, so somewhere around 5, 600, we start getting a slight bit of attenuation. And that's the way you design a low-pass filter. So that is just about it. If you keep one thing in mind when you're thinking about filters and RC circuits, and that is a capacitor, whether it's, you know, one of these guys or one of these guys or whatever, is not an on-off device. A capacitor operates analog. It operates in between the two extremes of on and off. So there's that time going on there. There's time to charge and there's time to discharge. And we take advantage of that to creating filters. All right, next time, high pass filters. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. That's it, I'm out, peace. 
On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree.